Hello friends, welcome to automation community. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about machine indicator lights. So, let's look at the example first. Machine indicator lights. Suppose you have a warning light system to indicate whether a machine is running or not. Two red lights will indicate individual machine 1 and machine 2 running states. These machines operate for 10 seconds and 20 seconds respectively. Two green lights will indicate when machines are not operating. So for this example, we will use normally open contacts. We will also use some memory bits. And with that, we will be also using timers like TP and T on. So, when machine 1 is running for 10 seconds, then the corresponding red light will be on. And that will be on for 10 seconds also. And then, when machine 1 will stop, then the green light, the corresponding green light will be on for 20 seconds. And then after that, machine 2 will operate for 20 seconds. And in those 20 seconds, when machine 2 is operating, the second red light will turn on. And it will also remain on for 20 seconds, for those 20 seconds, machine 2 and red light 2 will be on. And then when machine 2 will stop, green light, the second green light will be on. So, let's move to Eco Structure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for machine indicator lights. I will open Eco Structure Machine Expert Basic. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive as well. That results uploading the application from the controller is unrestricted. And downloading an application to the controller or modifying the application in the controller is unrestricted. So if I keep it active, then uploading the application from the controller is disabled due to the blank password. That means if we keep it active, we have to set password here. And then, then uploading the application from the controller will be restricted. That means it will need a password. And also, downloading an application to the controller or modifying the application in the controller will be restricted. That is, it will ask for the password that we have put it here. So for now, I will keep it inactive for read protection as well as write protection. And then I will click on apply. So after that, I will go to configuration tab. So here we have to select the logic controller. We have to configure the device in this tab. So here is a list of different logic controllers. I will be using TM221. C to 4R. I will click on it and then drag it to here. Do you want to replace TM221M16RG by TM221C to 4R? You may lose some features and associated configuration. So I want to replace it. So I will click on yes. 
So here is a device description about TM221C24R. That is, it has 14 digital inputs, 10 relay outputs, 2 analog inputs, 1 serial line port, and 100 to 240 volt AC power supply controller with removable terminal blocks. So after that, I can also go to serial line where I will select protocol as TMH2GDB. I can also set it as Modbus ASCII TMH2GDB or Modbus Serial IO Scanner. I will keep it TMH2GDB for now. And then I will click on apply. So if I keep protocol as TMH2GDB, then there is no need to, up to set the serial line settings. So after that, I will click on programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram. So I will click on this option to set a full screen mode and then zoom into it like this. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact. I will assign an address to it as I 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as start button. Yes. And then I will insert a coil and I will assign address to it as M0, which is a memory bit. And then I will latch it here. So I will insert one more normally open contact. And I will connect it like this. And then I will assign address to it as M0. So a start button is a push button. So when it is pressed, M0 gets true. And then when M, when it is released, M0 still remains true. And then I will add a new rung and insert a normally open contact. And then a coil. So I will assign address to this normally open contact as M0 and then I will assign address to this normally to this coil as M1 which is again a memory bit. So we need that M1 should be true for 10 seconds only. So for that I will insert a timer here for M1 and that should be TP. I will change time base to 1 second and preset value as 10 and then click on apply. So M0 when M0 is true then M1 gets true for 10 seconds. And after that I will insert one more coil here and then for M uh, for I will assign address to this coil as M2 which is another memory bit. And for this memory bit M2, we will use timers here. First one will be T on, on delay timer. It should be T on. I will change time base to one second and preset value as 10 and then apply. So there will be a delay of 10 seconds for M2 and then M2 should be true for 20 seconds. For that, we will use one more timer and that should be TP. I will change time base to one second and preset value as 20 and then apply. And then I will connect it like this. So when M0 gets true, M1 will be true for 10 seconds and after that M1 will be off. M1 will be false. And after M1, that is after 10 seconds, so for M2 there will be a delay of 10 seconds and in those 10 seconds M1 was on. And after that M2 gets true and it will remain true for 10, 20 seconds only. So we will use these memory bits M1 and M2. M1 for machine 1 red light 1 and green light 2.
because when M1 will be true, machine 1 will be on and when machine 1 will be on, red light 1 will be on and also green light 2 will be on because in, uh, in that uh, duration of time, machine 2 is off and when machine 2 is off, green light 2 will be on and we will use this M2 to turn on machine 2 and when machine 2 is on, green light 2 will be off depicting that the machine is machine 2 is running and red light 1 will be on so we will add a new rung here and insert a normally open contact and i will assign address to it as m1 yes and then i will insert a coil here actually three coils so this m1 will operate will control three outputs machine one red light one and green light two so i will assign address to the coil as q 0.0, .0. i will also add symbol to it as machine what yes and then i will assign address to this coil as q 0 0.2 i will also add symbol to it as red light or first red light one red light one yes and then i will assign address to this coil as q 0 0.5 i will also add symbol to it as green light two yes and then I will connect it like this. So M1 will be true for 10 seconds and also for 10 seconds machine 1 will be on and also red light 1 will be on depicting that machine 1 is on and also red light 2 will be on depicting that machine 2 is off. And then we will add one more rung for machine 2, red light 2 and green light 1. So firstly, we will insert a normally open contact and I will assign address to it as M2. So this M2 will control machine 2, red light 2 and green light 1. So I will insert coils, three coils for machine 2, red light 2 and green light 1. And then I will connect it like this. So, so I will assign address to the coil as Q 0 0.1. I will also add symbol to it as machine 2. Yes. And then I will assign an address to this coil as Q 0 0.3. I will also add symbol to it as green, sorry, red light 2. Yes. And then I will assign address to the coil as Q 0 0.4. I will also add symbol to it as green light 1. Yes. So, So when start button is pressed, start push button is pressed and released, M0 gets activated and when M0 gets activated, M1 gets true for 10 seconds and after 10 seconds, M2 gets true for 20 seconds. So M1 will be true for 10 seconds only. After that, it will be off. So here, 
when M1 is true for 10 seconds, that results machine 1 will be on for 10 seconds and also red light 1 will be on for 10 seconds. So this red light 1 is depicting that machine 1 is running and with that also green light 2 will be on. This is showing that machine 2 is off and M1 will be on only for 10 seconds and after 10 seconds M2 gets true and it will remain true for 20 seconds. So when M2 is true machine 2 will operate for 20 seconds and also red light 2 will be on for 20 seconds depicting that machine 2 is running and also green light 1 is off depicting that machine 1 is off. So we will exit full screen mode and then I will compile the program. And then I will go to commissioning and launch simulator. After that, I will start the controller. To do so, click OK. And then, I will go to programming and click on full screen. So, when start button is pressed and then released, machine 1 will operate. For 10 seconds and with that also red light 1 will operate for 10 seconds and also green light 2 is on as machine 2 is off and after that machine 2 will operate and also red light 2 will be on and these will be on for 20 seconds red light 2 is on because machine 2 is on and also green light 1 is on because machine 1 is off it was all about this example Thank you for watching. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.